every single time uh, one of these things has happened. Whatever form of Christianity held hegemony, whatever held pride of place, had to drop back and reconfigure, but it did not cease to be. It's imperative we remember that. That is to say, Catholicism did not end 500 years ago. It did have to drop back. We call it the Council of Trent, the establishment of the Order of Jesuits, the coming of seminaries. All, all of those things happen. But Roman Catholicism did not cease to exist. Instead, the faith spread farther as a result of the coming of Protestantism. A thousand years ago, Orthodoxy didn't cease to exist when Catholicism, or Roman uh, religion, uh, Christianity, uh, took hegemony away from it. In the same way, in the great emergence is seeing, a ma because it's a major shift in everything about us, it's seeing a major shift in Christianity. And it is giving rise to emergence Christianity, but that does not mean that Protestantism will cease to exist. It simply means we are in a post-Protestant mode. Denominations aren't going to cease to exist. Protestantism isn't going to cease to exist. It's never been true, and it won't be true this time. The faith will spread. It will be spread primarily by emergence Christianity as it flows out uh, from our culture to embrace more of the world or more within our culture. Um, but denominations will stay. Now, the second thing that has to be said about that is, though, again, if history is a fair index of what's coming, a good predictor, and it almost always is, those denominations are going to have to change the way they do business. Uh, uh, Protestant Christianity is going to have to regroup and reconfigure in the same way that Orthodoxy had to, in the same way Catholicism had to, in the same way Apostolic Christianity had to, Monastic Christianity had to. So Protestantism is going to have to. It will be a response to the changes that are the great emergence, more than, than to emergence Christianity itself. Um, and so there, there are distinct ways that they're going to have to reconsider what we do in the future, but we will consider it from the point of view of history and what history has told us.